So this is the Make South by Southwest fly zone right here behind us, and we're uh, flying drones all weekend long. We've invited a couple teams of top experts, including the good people from 3D Robotics. This is Scott, who's one of the uh, one of the crew members at 3DR. And uh, Scott, tell us about this uh, demonstration you're about to do. This is our new Iris. We have a Go three axis GoPro gimbal on it. We're gonna fly it around a little bit, try to get some views of Austin here. Okay, and this thing, it's it's got a it's got a live link to uh, the transmitter. Is that right? Live video downlink. Um, getting footage straight off the GoPro at uh, 5.8 gigahertz. Okay. Great. Well, let's uh, let's check it out. That's really close to that fence. How gutsy am I feeling? <laughs> no, nah, I'm feeling gutsy. <laughs> So it, there's a little bit of wind here on the ground. How much does something like that affect you as you're flying? It definitely aff affects the craft, but the flight controller does pretty well with the GPS uh, capabilities to keep it, keep it where you want it to be. Yeah, and this has got a, a loiter mode. Tell me about that. What does that mean? It basically locks to multiple GPS satellites and holds its position to um, a relatively small radius. So right now you're it's 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 maintaining its own thing. Your your hands off right now right on the now, on the I'm controller. Not doing anything. It's it's flying itself at this point. That's great. Now, tell me about the uh, the three axis gimbal. You've got uh, the ability to control that while you're flying the the quadcopter. While flying the quadcopter, we can also get a we can also get a nice little tilt with the gimbal here. Get a 90 degrees looking straight down and looking straight forward here. That's great. And then I can see on your uh, on your transmitter you've got the uh, you've got this display where you know you're looking uh, we're looking through the eyes of the quadcopter as you're flying. That's a that's a pretty cool setup. What's um you said it's a 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, what's the range for something like that? It's uh, pretty close to a mile. You can definitely fly it much further than you can you can really see it from the ground. How many uh, how many times have you done that? Uh, multiple multiple times. <laughs> It seems really scary. It, it can be the first couple times, but you, have, you just have to have, to have faith, faith in the equipment, trust that it's, it's gonna come back and do what you, what you tell it to do, to do. And beyond the loiter mode, what other types of autonomous capabilities does the Iris have? The Iris and the Pixhawk, the flight controller, have the ability to fly uh, GPS-guided waypoints through our mission planner software. Um, e very easy, drop and go, drop a waypoint and it'll fly to that waypoint and you can set predetermined missions and repeat them multiple times. Makes flying the vehicle very easily. And there's a setup where it, uh, it interfaces with uh, Nexus tablets, Android tablets, is that correct? Yeah, all Android tablets. It's optimized for 7-inch tablets but can work on smaller and larger tablets. Um, very user friendly, very convenient out in the field. How about the uh the stunt capabilities. Is this something that you tend to see much stunt flying with or is it, tend, uh, does it, is it often used for other things? Absolutely, you can definitely fly it, fly it for stunt purposes. Obviously without the camera on it, you can definitely strip it down to just the bare iris, fl iris frame and, and fly it for stunt and just rip it around for good fun. Do you find people do that more often or are, are you seeing this type of thing used for more practical purposes? A lot of people, a lot of people are definitely getting more into the practical purposes. It's um, kind of the older, more experienced pilots that want to go rip them around and do flips and do crazy stuff. So beyond um, aerial flying, uh, you see people doing um, uh, wildlife observation, uh, agricultural uh, observation. Anything else that's caught your attention? Um, lots of industrial surveying, 3D mapping. Pretty cool. All, the way, all built into the Mission Planner software, it just does all the math for you there. It tells you exactly where the helicopter needs to fly and you just press go and it does it for you. That's great. Well, thanks. It's a, it's a cool demo and uh, excited to see, uh, see where it goes. I know the Iris just came out, so this is, uh, this, yeah. is, this is great to see it in action. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Scott.